Hey, Vintage Snowmobile fans. I want to introduce you to a, a brand that lasted 10 years. These are Viking snowmobiles. Their manufacture started in 67 and 8, or 66 and 67 in Ashland, Wisconsin. Then they went to a town called Twin Valley, Minnesota. And, and they continued operating. Most people think uh, or, or recognize Twin Valley as the home of, of Vikings. Uh, they had a good 10 year run. This is the last year of production. This is a 1976 Viking snowmobile, uh, Metal Flake era. This is what happens to be in purple. I don't know if that's an homage to the Minnesota Vikings, but the truth is they, they used a lot of the, the, that type of logoing in their, in their uh, in their in their catalogs so here we have a very nice original last year viking snowmobile this particular example has uh, uh looks like a little over 1900 miles and it's an, exa a, 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 an example of a very nice survivor this thing i don't i can't see anything that was was uh, was done to it uh, to modify it so uh this is in a museum and uh, i wanted to take the opportunity to, uh, to, uh, to show it to you today. As I said, Vikings uh, were a player. Um, there's, there's a large following of Vikings. Uh, they were in the I-500 race. Uh, we know a fellow by the name of Art Seidel who famously rode the I-500. Not necessarily the, the top 10 winner, but, uh, but they wanted to prove their, their stuff uh, through competition in that 500 mile terrain, terrain race. This, this example here is a 440, and it has a Kohler uh, fan-cooled twin cylinder engine. Um, the suspension, uh, I think they called it POSI grip, P-O-S-I dash grip. And uh, it reminds me of the Scorpion Pararail. And uh, it's kind of a, of, a, of a, it is a bogey wheel suspension, but it, it, was, it was morphing. Uh, into the slide type, so so uh, so that uh, that was their 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 version um, of of that uh, of that suspension. So come on in, let's take a look at uh, at this thing. As I say, it's a, it's an original. This has not been restored uh, it, 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 that I can tell, and uh, and uh, nice aluminum uh, chassis here. We'll walk around um, and uh, look at the at the dashboard. Um, yeah, there it is. Doesn't that remind you of Minnesota Vikings in terms of the uh, the logo there, and uh, and 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 that. And they had a proprietary uh, uh, nameplate on on the uh, speedometer. All right. So mid mounted gas tank in this uh, in this in this era. Coming around here, a windshield without uh, without uh, uh, a guard on it. Um, Lots of venting on, on these things. You could see this is pretty much an enclosed hood and, and they had to open it up. Um, the, uh, the pan here uh, looks very nice. I mean, that was a nice treatment. The white um, colors against purple, I think, I think actually works quite well. Looks quite well. Um, this bumper here kind of reminds me of Arctic Cat, uh, you know, in the era and, uh, and, and around. So uh, dual headlights. And uh, and uh, and, a, and a and a wedge seat. So, like I said, these are these are collectible. You'll you'll see groups of these coming to the to the shows, and uh, and uh, and uh, there's there's some brand brand loyalty here, even though it's been 25 years since their last manufacture. Okay, we can uh, take a peek under the hood here. I'm going to come from this side because this hood opens in this fashion. There we go. Okay. So there you can see a couple of headlights here. This is, like I said, a Kohler uh, uh, axial fan cooled and, uh, and an, an Apex uh, 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 case, chain case here. So uh, nothing, uh, no barn burner here. But uh, but uh, they were they were uh, they were certainly considered a reliable rig. Okay, now they had gone, you know, they had they had a, they had electronic ignition by then. This is not a point uh, a point system. So I felt that this would be nice to 
to show you all um, manufacture uh, a well-preserved uh, uh, original and uh, and give you a sense of, of the Viking brand. So, there it is, 1976, Purple Viking. Thanks for watching.